iPhone XS looks a lot like last year's 10. Stainless steel frame and glass on either side. But has the glass gotten tougher? Apple seems to think so. And it's covered on the front and the back with a new formulation of glass that is the most durable glass ever in a smartphone. Challenge accepted. here on the sidewalk, which let's be honest, is where most of these accidents happen. And it's the same surface where we broke the iPhone 10 from last year. Now in my hands is a brand new iPhone 10s in gold, which I just took out of the box. But before we begin, let me say this is not intended to be a scientific test, but just a real world demo and results may vary depending on the drop. Now with that out of the way, let's begin our drop at hip height or about three feet. down in five, four, three, two, one. It didn't sound so bad, but let's take a look at that screen. It did land screen side down. So here we go. You guys can see it first. How does it look? It doesn't look bad. Okay. so. Turn off the screen, and as you can see here, no cracks, at least no visible cracks on this screen. Just some scuff marks where it hit a little bit on the side over here, but they might actually come off. Part of that is from the actual cement, and look at that. They are coming off. It doesn't look that bad, and then on this side up here, I don't know if you can see that there, some more scuffs, but it's kind of coming off. It is a little bit dented. The glass seems a little bit dented. As I'm running my finger through it, I can, I can feel it a little bit. But now that I've kind of cleaned it off, you can barely tell. Now, this is already a win for the iPhone XS because this is the same fall that cracked last year's iPhone X. So I can definitely say that it survived this first drop. Now, let's take a look if the glass on the back is just as strong as the one on the front. So I'm gonna be redoing this test at the same height of three feet from hip height, but this time the back is gonna go down first. Side note, it is freezing out here. My hands are shaking, I apologize for that. We're gonna do this three feet, this time screen side up in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that was not the most graceful landing. It didn't actually fall right on the back. It kind of landed on the side first, and that is stainless steel, so it, it kind of did break the fall. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the back. You guys can take a look first. It's looking pretty, pretty good. Let's look at that aluminum frame. There are Okay, so there's, there's a little scuff on this side. This is probably the, the side that hit now that I'm taking a look at it closer. So there are some scuffs on that stainless steel frame if you take a look really closely, but it's not bad. It's really not that bad considering that this is now the second drop of this phone and it's, it's looking good. The screen is okay, the back is okay. Just a little scuffed up on the sides. So that's the second drop that it survives. I'm gonna take it even higher, why not? This phone is already exceeding my expectations. So still within the realm of possibility, five feet, which is kind of roughly face level, maybe what would happen if you're taking a photo and it falls out of your hands. Now this time around, I'm not actually gonna try to have it land anywhere. I'm just gonna see where, what happens from this position when it hits the floor. Okay, here we go. Five feet in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that had a little bounce to it because it landed on the edge again. It didn't sound bad. It kind of moved a little bit. So I think it landed screen side down, but here, take a look at it first. Screen looks good so far. Back looks good so far. The sides 
look good so far. I cannot believe this is the third time I dropped this phone and I'm still having a hard time finding any kind of damage on this phone. Okay, so I gotta be honest, I didn't think we'd get this far. Um, I'm not sure what to do with it next, but I really want to test out that screen. So I'm going to have it try to land screen side down this time from the same five feet. Now, just bear in mind that this is the fourth fall, so it's already been compromised. With that said, let's do it. Okay, five feet, screen side down in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, so that definitely did not land screen side down because I can see the screen right now. I'm gonna take a look. It landed right on the corner and then with the back to the floor. So let's take a look. The screen looks fantastic. Nothing wrong with the screen. It doesn't seem to have sustained any damage to the camera, at least that I can tell right now. Um, just some marks over here on the edge, a couple marks on this edge. A few on the bottom over here and on the side, but 100% in working order still. But ultimately, it's in pretty good shape considering how much I've dropped it right now. Now I gotta say, I was definitely not expecting the results we got today. I thought for sure it was gonna break at the first drop, like last year's 10. But just take a look at the difference. This is four falls in, nothing. This is two falls in, look at the back. Now we did get their screen replaced, so I don't have that to compare, but both the screen and the back on last year's 10 broke. Now, is this the strongest glass ever made on a phone? I can't tell you that, I don't know for sure, but I can let the results speak for themselves. And for all you guys who still want to see this phone break, we're going to be doing a part two of this video where we basically find out what it takes to break the iPhone XS.